This time I'm going to make a bumper case for the Fluke TC-01A thermal camera, with its lens cover. Using the Bamboo Lab 3D printer with ABS material. Although this small camera is quite solid with an IP54 standard, claimed to be safe if dropped from a height of 1 meter, the lens and connector still seem fragile. If it falls, these are the parts most likely to be damaged. Firstly, I use 3D software to design it. And because this lens part is often accidentally touched by fingers, it quickly gets dirty, so it needs a lens cover with a hinge mechanism that can be opened and closed. The design also includes a USB extension and a detachable micro lens holder. After separating and arranging the parts horizontally, the selected parts are then exported to Bamboo Studio to be ready for printing. And here's the result. After removing the support material, it's now just a matter of assembling the covers one by one. To make it more efficient, I use a silicone connector cover that integrates with this cover. The USB extension installed in this cover is also useful in case of a fall. Only the connector from the USB extension is damaged, so we only need to replace the extension. The camera connector remains intact. For the lens cover part, I use a paper clip cut into a hinge. File down the sharp edges, then insert it into the hinge.
Now I'll try fitting it to the smartphone. The size fits with the connector hole. Of this subcase UB Pro case. For the micro lens, I use a PVD zinc selenide laser focus lens with a focal length of 101.6 mm and a diameter of 20 mm. Installing this lens holder seems easy, but it's actually not. This ABS plastic is prone to breaking if pressed too hard. The focal length determines how close objects can be seen clearly by the camera. There are many sizes of focal length available for these PVD lenses on the market, and honestly, I don't know what focal length is needed. I use a size of 101.6 mm and the closest distance can be up to about 7 cm, compared to the previous 25 cm. Now, with the micro lens, this camera can be used to repair PCBs, which I might rarely use. I don't know of any other uses besides that. If only there were concave-shaped PVD lenses available, then the maximum distance could be more than 5 meters up to infinity. Perhaps this thermal camera could be turned into a night vision camera. Unfortunately, I couldn't find such lenses on the market. So that's the video about how I made the bumper case and micro lens for this thermal camera. Thanks for watching.